It's relatively new. How long have you had this for? Like when, when, when this is the dev kit, how long has it been out for? I've had it for about 10 days now. Uh, some other people are just getting theirs. Uh, you know, it's 10 days in and I've worked in support for over seven games, uh, a couple video players, and a few web browsers already. So it's very easy to get into if you know what you're doing. Initial impressions so far? Initial impressions? Motion sickness is definitely a big deal, but you can get you know Ooh. a good 30 40 minutes of use out of it if you are really used to it um as i've said before uh, michael abrash did a talk at gdc you got to develop vr legs just like you would see legs you got to go out for 20 minutes at a time 30 minutes at a time get rid of your motion sickness eventually but there's definitely that application for it to be used for other things besides games as well and that's what i really see coming forward for it um I know someone personally who's developed already an AutoCAD exporter for it, so you can oh, wow, view architectural great. buildings inside of AutoCAD with the Oculus. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can fully render out your entire building and walk around on the inside of it with wow. the Oculus before you even build it. So even beyond games. So. Yeah, even beyond games. Uh, Blender, mm -hmm. Blender Maya, uh, the 3D editing program. I know a few people who have already been using it inside of Maya to help create some 3D animations and special effects. Hmm. It's it's really just a it's however the people however far the people want to take it. It's open source. So besides Mirror Edge, which we see running right here, what else have you gotten to run with the Skyrim? Uh, I'd say basic Minecraft, only about two minutes or so, and then it crashes on me. Left for Dead, Portal, Half Life Two. Uh, Skyrim, obviously, uh, Kerbal Space Program, which isn't that well known of a game. I got that to work for about 20 minutes. <laughs> we have a lot of big fans <laughs> in yeah. this office that play it. I, I absolutely love that game. Uh, uh, I got that to, for, to work for about 20 minutes, but then the game force crashed and gave me a blue screen. Definitely wouldn't recommend trying it. Um, in a couple days, there's going to be a new driver release called Vorpex from some of the guys who have been working on some other uh, DirectX engines in the past. They've actually done work for NVIDIA and Microsoft, and they're releasing the engine that helps you support Bioshock, uh, most of the games that are on Unreal 3 engine. A lot of the games that are current releases, like The Witcher 2, is actually going to be supported with Vorpex. So you can play The Witcher 2 inside of Oculus. Is this something like the developers have to... Uh, as like, long as it, the game has mods in mind, okay. we'll be able to work something around it. And even if it doesn't, like Bioshock Infinite, as long as we have access to the inner workings of the game, we can make it work. Hopefully, it won't cost too much more than the uh, development kit. Yeah. But in between the consumer version and this, we're going to actually be seeing another version of the development kit come out oh, really? in a couple months. And they're ship they're, you're going to get that automatically yeah. included? Yeah, like, a lot of people. I was like skeptical first at first, I'm like, oh, this is a, another that's, gimmick, like. And that's what a lot of the people I also talked to said. They're like, what's wrong with it? Why is it only so much? You know. Explain. Okay, so explain. Explain to me, so I don't forget right. how it works with the shield. Okay. Or is so this confirmed? It's confirmed. It's not confirmed, okay. but it's speculation from multiple people, including myself, because the shields at uses the streaming processing power of your computer, you'll be able to send backwards the, uh, the image through multiple monitors, not just one, because it's got an output on the shield. Uh, it's got an HDMI output, it's got a mini uh, DVI output. You'll be able to output an image, so why not? Mm -hmm. You can do it off of a tablet. I've actually gotten this to run off of my Asus transformer pad. Wow. Albeit after a lot of work, but <laughs> it works. It produced an image in full stereoscopic 3D. What are your thoughts? <laughs> have you seen you Outside of that, jump Yeah, how do you it, feel? It took a little... I'm still not used to it. And um, I did have to stop towards the end because I was like, alright, I'm starting to get a little queasy. But, um... I don't know, I, I see great potential in it. It's nothing like I've ever used before. No, I yeah, do get it, a little sweaty, though. That's, like, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely how it is. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, we're a sweaty guy. I want to attach a fan to it. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for bringing it in. Yeah, it's no problem.